I'm sick, Assy. I really should stop saying the stream is my stream. Um, Okay, cool. So let's start that. Uh, let's start a check. Ooh. Okay, let's get rid of these. Probably gonna need you. Uh, gone. Alrighty, so there's no save games. Let's give you a new game. Okay, um, hi, welcome to the video or the stream, depending on where you're watching. Today I'm going to do a 100% walkthrough. Um, I'm going to explain everything we do in the 100% route, why we do it. Hey, Angelus. And um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. So the first thing we're going to do is grab that cash, because we need that. How are you, Sir Angelus? Come round here. And then we're going to let this guy knock us out. Just cancel the knockback animation. And we do that because the first thing we need to trigger is our inventory being disabled, because that's one of the quests we have to do. Ah, you're planning around graphics tools. That's cool. Um, so at the top of the screen, we've got one out of 28. That's our inventory items because we currently have a clover. We've got one out of 128 because we have 128 quests to trigger throughout the run. And the C0, that's the chapter number we're on. So LBA has different chapters. Hi, Ali. How are you, darling? And the chapters in LBA tell us whereabouts in the storyline we are. And I'm messing this up. Come back! So different things happen in the game at different parts of the storyline. The main noticeable thing that you'll see is Twinson says different things depending on which chapter it was in. So chapter zero is in the sister where we are now. And then, so you'll have noticed now three out of 28 inventory items. So that's the Holly map, the ID card, and the Claver. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you, Ali. If we'd been quicker, that guy wouldn't have been an issue. We could have just ran past. So we came around here. We're going to click through the wall. So you, we went to be about there. Monkey, how are you, man? Um, so you come around here, hold space, and then press H. This is more boring, you do it once more. Ooh, that was very high. You don't normally want to be that close to Super Gravy. But if you don't trigger the door to open, then this guy doesn't do anything anyway. So you can literally punch him in the back of the head. And it stands there and takes it like a little bitch. Monkey, welcome to the stream. How are you, babes? And then we just escape. Yeah, Ali, I was at work earlier. I just was working 9 till 3.30. Were you working last night? Yeah, monkey, I'm good, man. It's good to see you around. So the next quest we have to trigger, we come in here and trigger the quest of getting the 25 caches out of the chest. Ooh, questing chest. That's so similar. Um... Yeah, I'm alright, thanks, monkey boy. Not seen you around for a while. I've been worried about you. So, cut the corner, dodge that guy. Come around here, dodge her. Uh, in the pharmacy. We need to kill that guy because he'll trigger another quest. So, this will go from two to three. Inventory items are going to go from. Three to four. 
And then we just quit and load. Yeah, monkey, I know what you mean. I've been trying to stream more, but it's a struggle with like trying to focus and stuff. And trying to motivate myself to do it. Especially like when I'm working as well. Uh, let's see. Now we come to Zoe scene. Avoid that guy. Don't run into him like I always did. Oh, I know what I didn't do. I didn't say what was the zoom. You returned at last, my love. Come inside quickly. All the clones are looking for you. Oh, monkey, you'll be fine, man. I'll come and walk you from around. I mean, you'll probably be streaming some shit I've got no idea about because you tend to stream shit that I have no idea about, but yeah, I'll come and watch. How are you generally at the moment, anyway? So now what we're doing, we're punching Zoe. So we need to get down the stairs. And we do that so she's slightly closer to the green gravy when she comes in. Oh my god, DVD. Thank you, man. Jesus Christ. Nine months you've been a subscriber to me for. Thank you so much, DVD. It really is appreciated. And I'm too busy talking, not focusing. So now we come here. We get knocked out. We stand out the way of the door. Otherwise, you block the door with the dead body. And it's loading down. So we need to wait until the green grey bow talks to Zoe. And the super grey bow is through the doorway, including his tail. And then we quit and load. And then by doing that, so chapter's gone to two because Zoe's been captured. Uh, and the quest log's gone up as well. And the reason that's gone up, um, it signifies the fact that the chimney grate, which we're going to see in a second, is already open. Otherwise, you have a little cutscene the first time you come out of the chimney and you have to wait for it to open. Oh, DVD, you're a sweetheart. And we get that key and we open that door because that takes a quest to five. So the quest is basically that you can lock the door and that's dead. Oh, we made it. Okay. So come over here. Come over here. Don't cry, I'm not answering. Um, so to do a pack round, we hold space and then press H. It's basically the same trick we do everywhere throughout the entire game. Oh, you guys. It's not even my birthday and you're being nice to me. So now we need to come into the tavern. The door magically opens for us. Try and avoid that guy speaking to us. And I normally try and nudge the uh, waiters and coming in just to... Ah, oh, this is bad. If you've used me, you just interrupt him long enough that he's just coming up the top of the stairs when... But we messed it up. That'll cost you 10 cashes per, per, per drink. It's okay, let's go. What, my birthday? Uh, September the 20th. Ah. And I'm in the wrong place. I need to be just around here. I just wait till he shakes his head. Because if you don't wait long enough, even though he's poured the drink, it's not actually triggered that you've poured the drink. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, man. Um, so we've also just triggered the quest that we bought the Graber in the bar a drink. Uh, so another thing we need to do, we came over here. Uh, also, our inventory items have gone up because we now have uh, our tunic as well as our magic ball so that's why we're now on six so this guy you throw our ball four times kill that guy we just quit and load to death warp uh, not to, to load warp even I knew words so now we're on seven because that guy's dead kill this guy for the key up, up. 
ba, ba, ba. <laughs> yes, I am Twinson. My birthday is October the 10th. Ali, why are you meh, honey? You can't message me if you want to, you know. So we do the boxes, same as we do in any percent. So he's pushing them all around. Once you learn the pattern, they're fairly simple. Just avoid the walls and like that. Ah. Fuck. I said avoid the walls, Twinson, please. I can't blame you, Twinson. It's blatantly me not being able to run without hitting walls. Okay. Do this. Do a holly jump. So you just space and hate. Listen for a boing. Messed up the double box push, but it's fine. I don't care. Yeah, I know, Ali. Don't worry. So he gives us a fairy ticket that triggers another quest that we've had the free fairy ticket. Take the fairy, hold escape, skip the movie, wait for that to go, hold escape again. Then one of the nice things about the hundred percent route, we skip the awkward. Uh, port escape. And I'm messing that up. Ah. That wasn't textbook, but eh, it's fine. So we come in here, so the guy in the suit talks to us, and he tells us about his colleague. We don't give a shit, but it triggers a quest. Then we run along the top here, because it's quick and easy. I don't know if it's quicker actually. It's probably, it's definitely more consistent than dropping down. I don't know how much, it probably is about as quick, to be honest. Friendly fire, yeah, yeah. So we need to talk to the forger who's in prison. But we change scenes and then come back again. And we do that so when we quit and save, that's where we spawn from. So we just kind of jump onto the eggs, turn around, the bullets knock us backwards, talk to this guy, quit and load, and run away. Next thing we need to do is have the librarian talk to us. I just realized I should be scrolling this. I've got a little list here of all the things. Mm. And that tells us what we've done. So we've talked to the uh, hairdryer salesman. We've talked to the forger through the bars. And now the librarian is complaining about the water. So we just grab some money. We distill from the library three times. Money, 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 money! Ah, ah don't run into the pillow. This guy talks. According uh, to my doctor, blah, blah, blah. And then we come fairly far down the stairs, not too high, not too low. Do a jump, and then just before your feet hit the floor, hold down H. And we're in. In the distant past. And then get some money again. And we do that one more time. Trigger that, turn around, quit and load. So the next thing we're going to do is clobber the clone, which means we need to hit the clone twice with our magical ball. I love how game we have a magical ball. Uh probably around an hour and a half, two hours, Ali. Hey Carl, how's it going? So we come here in discrete mode, lob the ball without missing, preferably Twinson. I think a step back, we're too close. God damn it, I... 
This is perfect. You have to miss 10 times. <laughs> um, there we go. One and two. Now we're on 14. Come down here. Pop in this house. Talk to Julia. She tells you about her friend. That gets to 15. Oh. Also, we're on chapter four. Uh, I'm missing out chapters. And I shouldn't be. Uh, chapter four is when you board the ferry. I will try and list them all as I'm going through. But I am really bad at this sort of stuff. Uh, okay, so we need to talk to this dude. Hiya, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Ali, I had McDonald's this morning for breakfast. Two double sausage McMuffins with no egg. <laughs> so this guy comes. Tells us about his cousin being a locksmith. Me needs to take out the clover. I was saving for a rainy day. Come here, just wait for the guy. Drink your beer. Have a beer. Beer was good. So why are you not having McDonald's, Ali? Do the thing. There we see the locksmith. So there's a quest that the locksmith's cousins has opened the house. It's also a quest that we've opened the passage and we're going outside the locksmith. We just hit a quest, quest, quest. Whee! If you don't eat Ali, you should eat. Eating is apparently healthy. This guy's outside. That's another quest trigger. Whee! Gates unlocked. That's another quest trigger. So a lot of the quests are really quick and easy. Uh, come in here. Uh, ow. We need a mecha penguin. I think. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> uh, we need two lots of gas. That, as you always do, we quit and load because that just skips us to the doorway. Uh, <laughs> so, we do the gravy skip by sign skip. I've got a video all about sign skips, but all about skipping the super gravy. So, land on the sign. That takes a little bit of practice. And then, if. We've done it fairly well. We should just be able to dodge that guy. So Bobby talks to us. Jump on the wall. Uh, talk to the astronomer. Um, kind of drop in this corner. I always do it in aggressive mode, but normal works too. So we're now in the wall and now we jump for the money. Because we both get the money and then we floor death. Quit and load. And then we need to go to the Whiteleaf Desert. Uh... Yeah, old McDonald had a farm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd probably scare children when I was trying to sing in nursery rhymes. Old MacDonald had a farm, and the cows went to the slaughterhouse. Enjoy your beef burger. Um, so you just Pac-Man here. Pac-Man, just space and hate space for me. Fairly simple trick. Uh, and now we get to Port Beluga. Oh, I'll just ignore that. Um... Hold escape down to skip that normally. Thanks, Carl. You can just leave them, man. Talk to the fisherman. Uh, 
pointless desert. Pokes the sky to stand him up. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I was like, I was just going to ban them, and I was like, to be honest, they're probably not going to use the same accounts twice. Oh, thanks, DVD. Hey, Carl, thank you for modding. Don't feel like you have to, though. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, DVD is the story of my life being too slow. Okay, so we're going to take our extra clover. Because eventually we're going to death warp. So we do jumpy jumpy. Let me turn around. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Uh, and then come here, jump the corner. That's a little bit of time that you didn't get hit midair because if you do, you get drowned. Basically, let this guy shoot us for a bit. Probably not that much, just a little bit too far. We're going to be struggling for health now. You should be okay. Friday, I don't make any major fuck ups, which probably means I'm going to game over. Uh, talk to this guy. Because you can't get down that hole unless you talk to the old guy, because the hole doesn't exist. So, back at Strats, I'm going to get some more health. Yay! Slightly healthier. Uh, came to the edge here. I'm going to angle into the wall slightly. Just do a normal jump. And uh, jump again. Run along to the end. So you went about a 45 degree angle. Hold space and do a H. It's basically all hollow jumps. Once you can do it once, you can do it anywhere. We want to come around this corner here. Ah! Kindly face inwards slightly, so you space and hakes to holly jump. And that clips us into the door transition zone. And three. So we're going to come around here, come to the middle. If you fail, we can just quit and do it again. Obviously, that's totally intentional, so I can show off the fact you can just quit and do it again. Oh my god, I've heard it twice. That's embarrassing. Really? It cancels someone's sub if you ban them? I didn't think it did. Uh, so, every time the behavior dialogue pops up, it's because I'm hitting the F keys just to cancel not back. Uh, that's bad timing. This guy, we hold H. Pressing H for a couple of frames. Despawn into five walls. Drop down. So every time you have a little legs like that, it makes Twins and Curse kind of full. You can just press behavior mode. It kind of recovers quicker. So this trick is basically a hollow jump. Uh, so it's base and H. So all this is always in athletic mode. And that just pops that out for you. Because we like the manis. A spike on the far right. Does the hurt you. So we jump on it. Yay. We're on chapter 5. I probably... So chapter 5 is speaking to the astronomer. I meant to be saying this stuff. So I'm going through. I'm missing it. I'm sorry. Uh, come here. Dog that. Come around here, pull the switch, that's another quest gone. Drop down. So, quest that we've opened. So, there's a quest that you've been on there. That can either be the statue or that can be you. And then, you can just jump at the corner. It's literally just jump, and that gets you on top. And dog these guys. Get in the book. Now we quit and we load. Uh, 
sprint mode, throw the ball, hit the switch. And then we come and we drop down here. Uh, the good thing about coming through that doorway is we don't have to take this platform. So the reason we get the book before we come down here is because the skeletons won't hurt us. Which makes it slightly easier when they're just their bounty. Take the money because we need the money. Then we just quit and load. And oh look, we're back at the door. And we drop down. And again, these things normally fire shit at you. But because we already have the book, they don't. Take this guy out. We need a key. And then come here. Take the money. An interesting thing about that was, that was supposed to be a quest trigger. But they didn't implement it properly. So it doesn't actually trigger a quest. Ooh. So we kill these guys, which are one of the most annoying parts of the game. Yo, dude, die for me. These guys are really so jank. Come on, buddy. Didn't particularly want that health, but it's not too bad. Anyway, so doing all that, it's taking us to 30 quests. 30 out of 128. So we've got a quest through here. There's a couple of them. So we need to put this statue on the plinth. Because just standing on the plinth doesn't do anything. We also need to get this 50 caches. So we need to knock this off just to put it back on again. And that triggers that quest. And getting that money triggered another quest as well. Monkeys! Well, you're ordering McDonald's. Are you actually going there to pick it up or are you getting it delivered by delivery? <laughs> ah, run, twins, and run! So this is exactly the same as we did last time. Just to look at the chat and not time that right. Wee. So that's just pressing H to be spot on the fireball. Again, we need the holly clip just to grab the money. Ah, uh, we not something in the right place. Um, uh, uh, so it's really simple. You just jump and then press H. This is messed up. There we go. First try. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first try, if only. Yo, Maeve. What's up, man? I need to mod you, dude. Come round. Drop down again. I just realised, I've just skipped over all the quests. So basically, all those quest lists are there, that's what we've just done. I oh, might be wrong angle here. Oh, yeah. And that little jump to skip that door even works in the Enhanced Edition. So one last thing we need to do is kill this guy. They don't hurt us. Take their money and run. Skip over this. Speak to that guy. Then we knock ourselves out on a cactus. To magically death walk to the boat.
Just. Uh, speak to this dude. Go back to principal. We need to buy the catamaran. That was my get on the boat rather than looking at chat. Yay! I should have recorded this offline, but I was like, ah, I've not streamed for a while. Uh... Oh. Come around here. Really in the wrong point because I was too busy pissing about. If you time it right, the green grey but uh, green sphere is right at the top of the boat, and it's a little bit quicker. But Whee! I'll just wait patiently. There it is, like new, good handling it fast. This cavalry is for you, for 200 caches. <laughs> I know, I'm an idiot. So, we've bought the catamaran, now we need to go to Citadel Island. So, we're currently on chapter 6, which was getting the. Yeah, picking up the book of boo is chapter 6. So, now we need to go to Citadel and do chapter 7. So, let's go to Citadel. <laughs> So this is why we leave the Sendal Medallion and Gorley's Horn until now rather than doing it at the start like we do in any percent. Because you can only trigger chapters if you do it in the correct order. Uh because you can't trigger chapter 7 if you're already in chapter 1. It's one of the reasons the any percent guys can't skip the astronomer. So we read that, take it to chapter 7. And then we hot a jump in here. And so we jump it on the. When you're on the top of the door, if you jump and then tap F2 a couple of times, it puts you on top of the spikes. So we get those, and because we're doing all quests, breaking the seals is a quest. So that's gone from 34 to 35. We quit and load because obviously the door is still locked. Come here, and obviously, as we always do, we pack one. I mean, after you fall in the water, because water death. Basically, Twinson can't swim. I don't know why he's useless. He can't swim. So don't do that. So you come here. Pac Man. So you hold H. Uh, so I messed it up and it still worked. It's so easy to do. It's just space and H. So what we do, we come to the statue. Hi, Mr. Statue Friend. Do the horn. Be horny. That blows up, we drop down. Trigger that. That tends to work when you're halfway across the room. Uh, we drop down here. Try and avoid that guy talking to you because it just slays you down. Pick up the clover box. Quit and load. By doing that we end up back up here. And you can't jump back up there. Uh, Climb away to victory. Yeah. Next we go to the tavern. Because the evil people, the government, is trying to close our drinking hole. So we, 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 we just uh, don't suck and we take them out. Take the key. Open the door. 
That goes to 40. Come around here. Whee! Claven box will take us to 41 quests. And the Claven box I'm talking about is this one just here. Quit a load, as always. We come out here. Oh, look, the bar's reopened. That's quest 42. We opened the bar. Now we need to run all the way back to our little boat. Uh, we also need to, I was going to say take our extra life that we had, but I drowned, so we don't have it, so that's fine. <laughs> uh, so, Principal Island. Because we need to pop to the library. Because this is a quest that you can only trigger when you're in Chapter 7. And before you rob the, the museum on Proxima Island. <sighs> My beer's almost empty. That's not good. Winston drowns so slowly. <sighs> so death spawning there. Saves us running through the car, getting in the car, having the whole scene that takes us to the military camp, then a little cut scene again and So it's just a little bit quicker. So we go in the library, go on the right side of the door because that's the way it opens, steal some money, grab the money, run away to victory. No Ali, you're not banned. Sorry Ali, I'm not ignoring you. Uh, so we need to come and talk to this guy. And we need this guy to tell us about Lebel. I can't say his name. So we need to ask about the treasure. Quit a load because, you know, it's quicker. Ali, you'll never be banned in my chat. Uh, ah, avoid these guys. Come over here, pack one as always. If you don't mess a jump up. Yay! Uh, let's take that live because we don't need lives. Lives are like cancer in this game when you're speedrunning. Katina, hello. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? And welcome to the stream as always. Interesting thing to note about the hairdryer. You can buy the hairdryer from the hairdryer salesman on both Principal Island and Proxima Island. I only very recently found that out. <laughs> How are you, Katina? Yeah, the catamaran. Uh, right, what do we need to do? We come to the top of the stairs, hit the street mode, walk down the stairs in the street mode to about there, run along here. The great, uh, the Sphero should have spawned, and he has. He gives us a coffee pot. Talk to this guy. Walk away from him. He so is the hairdryer. Then we go in here. Trigger the alarm. Trigger another quest. Don't talk to that guy, Twinson. Trigger the alarm. Thanks, buddy. Uh 
you bought a notebook, but it's not that good and it was very expensive. Yeah, I believe you. Of course I believe you. Why wouldn't I believe you, dude? So we come in here because we need to give the guy his coffee pot back. And we also need to speak to him. Because that, I think, triggered a quest. Um, and it certainly triggered inventory items. So we had to get the coffee pot. We had to get the list. And we had to get the keypad. On an RTX 270. I don't know how good or bad that is, to be honest. Pop down here. Trigger the Greyweed spawn. Pray strat is kill him on the stairs. If you don't mess up like I did. Get him in here. Talk to this guy. Oh, wow. Pardon me. Yeah, that is quite slow. We should run at 200 frames and it's only running 110. So, go in there. Get the red card. So, inventory item 17 out of 28. Come in here. Don't die in the doorway. Talk to my DNA. He goes, so you found the hairdryer. It's like, mate, I've never even met you before. But yeah, sure, have my hairdryer. <sighs> well, it's not a chat pack yet. But don't jump. Oh, yes, it's great. So now we need to do one of the easiest tricks in the game. Which means I'm probably going to mess it up. Although it really is easy. Come down here. Uh, stand around there. Trigger the mecha and jump. And if you do it right, you end up on top of the gate. Unlock the door. Go in here. Run to the doorway. If you're thinking there's no barrels in this room, that's because I'm playing with an original scene file for the museum. Originally, there was no barrels. That was in later releases to fix a bug. So we come over to the pirate flag. Take the pirate flag. It's another inventory item. Probably a quest trigger. And it's also a chapter trigger. That ch triggers chapter 8. Uh... This is so slow. Before we can run on here. Get him around here. Stay out of the way of the clones. Yawn a few times. It helps. It really does. Uh, so, take their protein pack nice and slowly all the way around to the chest. So what's everyone been up to today anyway? And we have the key. Top of the wall. Drop down. We need to lower this because that triggers a quest. And then we can be back up again. And that triggers another quest. The museum's been robbed. And Maggie's the lights turn back on again. Well done, Carl. You found it. Yay! I think, yeah. Now we can just scroll this slowly. Whee! 
I am terrible at scrolling my run log. Ah, dogs that guy. Yo, dude. This is really an example of how not to play. Um, it's fine because we need to use that extra clay up anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, I suck. Um, <laughs> pretty much. So you take this little car, hold escape to skip the little intermission. Um, play this. That took another quest. Forty-eight becomes forty-nine. Jump through the hole. Jumpy, jumpy. Run long. Get the password. Jump. Trigger the freighty pack. Because you drown a lot quicker with the freighty pack on your back. Uh, take that claver. I always do this a little bit. Run into the wall. Uh, take the claver. Jumpy jump. So 45 strangle. Hold H. I might have overdone that. That's fine. If you do it too straight, you'll end up pac man to the other side. To the Eclipse Stone! Uh, Katina, the uptime in the stream is 47 minutes. I don't have an uptime command at the moment. So that triggers that. I guess it's the flute. And again, we just go, wee Dead. And that respawns us here. And also save gas. It's killing two birds, birds with one stone. Save your gas. And it's quicker. And then we're going to put the flag on the weight. And then go to Rebellion Island. Oh. <laughs> Hold escape is always when you're changing areas. Oh, wow, Katina. Thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. It's really appreciated. It means a lot, it really does. So we just drop in the trench. This guy talked. Yo, dude! You wanna to talk to me? Hi! There we go. You get close enough, he talks to you. <laughs> Uh, jump to the box. Jump up. Oh, Katina, I'm fine. It's just, yeah. Wow. I always really appreciate it when anyone subs to me and donations and things. Like, more than you guys realize, it means a lot. Thank you, but I don't need to cheer up. But thank you for the bits, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Um, so we still the Mecha Penguin. We talked to that guy that triggers a quest. Back to the harbour. Feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Good luck, Ali. I hope you survive. There's no feeding yourself to the tigers. Take the boat, chill out for a minute. Ooh, a ton drop of beer left. Ugh.
So we land, we get a little cutscene that's really slow and boring. And you can actually die in this cutscene. If you don't have enough health, it will kill you. Which is a little bit fucked up. Especially when there is the ability to give you armor. I know the game has the ability to give you armor because I can manually toggle it with my trainer. The modeling inside the boat, yeah, it's not great. So we change scenes, that needs to spawn as a soldier. It's just quicker than killing the guy. Uh, so discrete mode, throw the ball. That blows up the transmitter. Go and say hello to our buddy. Hiya, buddy! You need me to go to the fort? Yeah. He's in the freaking way! So basically, just run. This is all we do here. Run and avoid the landmines. Ah, oh, if you time that right, you can kind of just cut through the first bullet. So run away to victory. Get here. Come here. We ball this guy. Yeah, twin said we, we ball this guy. We try and ball this guy. <laughs> and then we both run over here. Uh, stick a clover. It's the rabbit. We need to let the soldier go in first because that triggers a quest that he's inside. I lost a run before because I went in just before he did. So you need to wait a split second. Um, it's not too bad. And then another quest that we can change scenes. A rat bit. He's not a rat. He's not a rabbit. He's a rat bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm doing with my voice. I'm just... Yeah, being an idiot, basically. <laughs> that dude eventually runs away. The door takes one shot. Love it. One shot killing the door. This next guy... Takes a lot of shots. Am I misremembering it? Oh yeah. The soldier outside took about five shots. The dog just went... Poof. I'll cover you. Go free the colonel. Alright, buddy. So there's a trick called a double mecha kill. Uh, and I messed it up. So there's a trick called a double kill. Um, so we get this guy. Now this guy's in the wrong place. So we're going to have to wait. Hiya, buddy. We just kind of come around here. Release the penguin. And if we do it right, they'll basically get killed at the same time. Come through the door. Uh, grab the key. Give me a second, I'll reach out. Uh, kill this guy. One and two and three. And this guy takes two hits. One and two. <laughs> Grab the key, open the door. How do you call it when you do secret stuff in the game? What kind of secret stuff are you talking about? You talking about kind of the glitches we use, like Pac-Man and things. Well, get me out of here. So we open this, let him out. Wait for him to escape. Then we quit and we load. Change scenes. We need to wait for this guy to get back in the tank. Oh, the quests. Um, yeah, they're not really secret things. They just all the things that the game tracks. So there was a quest just then that 
the guy got into the tank. Then there's another quest that that scene was happening outside. So we just kind of witnessed those two quests happening while we forced them to happen, basically. Um, I am not thinking. I'm too busy talking. Ah. How did the quest slow my speed score? What do you mean exactly? Like, how do they affect my time? So, you can just avoid the red cloud and you literally just run around the desk. Uh, once you trigger the little chain scene thing, it doesn't matter if he shoots at you. Providing you don't die, you just chain scene, there's no issue. I mean, if I do a speed, I'll be able, without any quests. The world record, uh, Roxas world record, I think it's 25 minutes. It might be 24. Uh, so we're on chapter 9. I forget what chapter 9 was. Let's go back and check. Ah, so chapter 9 is when we get the key from the museum. We're not going to trigger any chapter changes for a while. Uh, my record for any percent. Oh, my any percent time is terrible. Um, my any percent time is 30 something. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, my 100% record is an hour and a half. And that's my world record for 100%. It's not a great time. But, you know, I think it's an hour and 30 minutes and 4 seconds. Which is so annoying. So we come in here. Come to the centre bit. Trigger these guys. Then we kill this guy. Kill this, because that's another trigger. Whee! It's all on speedrun.com. Um, do we need that? I don't know. We'll take it. Fuck it. Let's look it up. Speedrun.com. So the any percent world record app. Ah. Is twenty six twenty six for LBA one, and my my terrible time is thirty six forty five. It's a really abysmal. <laughs> but in fairness, I haven't really grinded any percent. So this guy became following us. We kind of threw him a big circle and cut this, and we don't mess it up. Like oh, we messed it up. He should just fall in the water. Take the key. Uh, yeah, whatever I just said. I think I said 36. So my world record is 36 minutes. F my record is 36 minutes 45 for any percent. It's not a good time. Can we catch this dude? Trigger him. Can we kill this guy? He the key. One punch knockout. What? Come up here. Free Raymond the Elf. Um, to be fair, any percent isn't that hard. Like, the actual run itself. A lot of it is the same trick over and over and over again. It's just like the 100%. Um... It's all Pac-Man and Holly Jump. And in any percent, they tend to rather Holly Jumping use the sword more. <coughs> to backflip three. We don't have the sword from the majority of the game. We don't need to kill that guy. He's got my way. Um, we do need to blow these up because they're all quest triggers. You also throw your ball at these. Um, 
can use ball this one first away from us. Yo, can we the one first away from We can use all that, dude. Thank you. This we should be the punch from this side. So this nurse we need to kill because if we don't kill this guy, he'll trigger a super grabo. <sighs> so we want to kind of like, like we're fucking the corner. Legs one leg either side. This is timing and a bit of luck. And then we kind of throw our ball in. So it's always the screen mode for the first one and athletic for the second. Uh, so then we need to come around here. In here, we need to trigger the two switches on the left. We don't need to kill that guy, but if we don't, he pulls the switch that locks us in. So it's easy just to kill him. Although if he does lock you in, you can jump on one console and back again. Um, so avoid the crab. This corner is horrible because it's a bit tight. Through the doorway. Take that. The Rabbi Bunny Village. Uh, yeah, I don't know um, how long I've been streaming for. Um... I've probably been affiliate over a year now. Maybe, maybe not a year. I don't know. So we need to let this guy go first. Come over here. So discreet mode, throw the ball. Get the penguin. Carry it, open up! Apparently punching him makes him quicker. I don't know if that's a thing. Someone told me. What about you, Katina? Have you ever thought about streaming? You've never streamed streams? Oh, Tetris is cool. I used to love Tetris on the Game Boy. Uh, trigger that, wait for this. What do you mean, monkey? I didn't know it changed font for affiliate. Uh, take the boat. We should really scroll this so we can see where we are. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we should be on 23 inventory items to so a clear water flask. Uh, now we go anywhere. I can stay back again. Fair enough, Mickey. Oh, it shrinks. It's not the only thing that shrinks, dude. Uh, so go there, come back. Back to Hamalay. Uh, weird feature for chat though, yeah. Hey, Mickey, I've just noticed you've got... Um, Amazon Prime. Do you using that Twitch um, seven on anyone? So we come around here. I can't remember where we jump. I think it's around here. So we still Pac Man. And uh triggers Dino Fly. And I think we've gone to the wrong place. Okay, so we've gone to Fortress. We're meant to go to Tibbet first. It's fine as long as we don't end up in Brendel. If you're in from Brendel, you end up soft locked. Actually, it wouldn't soft lock us. It'd kill the run, though. Uh, where do you want to go, Twinchin? So now we need to fly to Tibbet. 
We can't fly directly back to the Hamalei because that would bug up the game. I think. I should totally test that. The reason we went to speak to that dude was to trigger the chapter change. And talk to Dinofly, we'll trigger the quest that we found Dinofly. And then we trigger another quest and we take Dinofly. Pardon me. Uh, so now we're going back to Hamalay Mountains. Thank you, Katina, and thank you to the bits, and thank you again very much for that sub. It's really appreciated. Look after yourself. All right, monkey boy, no problem. You know, if you want to use it randomly again, use it on this guy right here. Oh, Dinofly, he flies so slowly and leisurely, like he's got all the time in the world. Doesn't he know we have a planet to save? <laughs> Thanks, monkey boy, it's appreciated. So now we need to head back to Principal Island. Which means running all the way home. Uh, I also need to take that clover. We don't want that clover. Because you have spare lives, you can't death warp. Run around, make sure you don't make sure you don't get hit by that guy, and make sure you don't drown. Because there's um tight little corners. Especially when you're changing scenes, like right here. And it's so easy just to clip into the water. And as we all know, twins can't fucking swim. You know, because why would you be able to swim? Uh, <laughs> so, Principal Island. I'm losing my voice from all this talking. I love his music, it's so chill and relaxing. But then kind of like threatening at the same time. Yeah, I'm not musical. I can't sing or make noise that's anywhere near pleasant to listen to. Eh, fuck it. So now we're pretty much on cleanup and doing a few other things. Uh, so cleaning up all the stuff we missed out earlier. Get me on Twitch things. Monkey, I would do it with you on Twitch things if you want to. I mean, if you've ever drowned a cat, not that I'm saying you should drown a cat. Cats have feelings, apparently. Um, and you've heard the noise the cat makes when it's. What's this strangling a cat? Have you ever listened to a cat being strangled? Um, and then combine that with the worst sound you can possibly imagine. You're going to get some way close to how bad I sound when I'm trying to sing. Welcome back, Ali. We missed you. Right, monkey boy? We missed Ali. Of course. Get this clover box. Triggers another quest. Quit and load because fuck pro is fucking back.
I missed them all, no, no. Uh, speaking of missing women, how is Asla? Uh, we need to take some damage, take that clover. It's all clover usage. Um, bollocks. <laughs> so, use a cherry syrup. You know that cherry syrup, we were meant to use that earlier. That gives us an empty bottle, so that triggers another inventory item. And a quest. Use a clear water. Oh look, it magically changed colours. Oh, I am not smart. I meant to drown. Um, fuck, bollocks, tits. Uh, jump. And protopack death. Because protopack makes you die quicker. Uh, now we need to go back to Oldberg. Uh, we shouldn't go this way. We should go this way. Come here. Especially it's a holly clip. 45 degree angle. Pops you up. And we take the clover. I've got another clover stuff I'm like, yeah. Come in here, that guy talking to us triggers something. <laughs> Need to blow this up. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Ali. Um, I think Carl made this quite well. So trigger that. And then, oh look, we're drowning again. That pops us here. Um, boing. I probably should. Mm, I'm thinking on the fly. So this is again, this is hollow jumps. Um, when you do your second hollow jump, when like, it flashes the second time, you want to press down on the keyboard. That stops you over jumping. It took me ages working that out. So it, when I first learned this game, I literally did it from watching videos, and I kept over jumping that. Ah, let's take a clover. So we just clip off these boxes. That stops that guard triggering. Come down here. Knock that guy out. That guy is absolutely fine, as long as he doesn't start shooting. If you start shooting, you're probably going to get wrecked. You're better off quitting and reloading. Open the door. Let this little scene play out. Come in here. Grab this key. Hiya, buddy. Grab the key. Open the safe. Get the sword. Yeah, Ali, I love you. You're amazing. You don't need to put yourself down. There's enough people in the world that will put you down. You don't need to do it yourself. Uh, trigger this. I always find it really hard triggering that because you're kind of blindly guessing where you are behind the wall. And that gives us two quests. One that the guy's escaped and one that he's ran away. And I'm missing something out. <laughs> Uh, I should have triggered this already. I'm just doing it out of order. So we come in here. And I always run a big loopy circle. Delete these. We'll call them death sparrows. Out of the way. 
So we went to come here. And we time that right. You want to do that and then get hit by the thing. Because it skips the animation. But I messed that up. Anyway. So now we need to go to Citadel Island. Come here. Can't dodge this guy. They're not too bad to dodge, but they do take a little bit of practice. Jump on the wall. Do the Pac-Man. So that's lifting a space holding H. Uh, Port Beluga. Take the clover. Got too much health to be honest. Um, so we need to get to Citadel Island. Yeah, Carl, she lost her halo. We're gonna have to buy Ally a new halo. So we need to speak to our neighbour. Everybody loves good neighbours. So chapter 14 was stealing the sword. And chapter 15 is getting this guy's um, architect pass. We need to stand back. Let these guys do their business. Um, guys, hello. Oh, look, the guy glitched. Yo, dude. Can you not glitch for me? Now they're both glitched. Okay. That doesn't happen that often. We'll try it again. So that guy's back to digging up his garden, I guess. That's a garden. This guy's back to running around a massive fucking circle. Come in, friend. We shall look at them together. <laughs> we stand back out of the way. Dad, you have the key with you. So you run out of the way, then they don't glitch. All you have to do is ask. Most of the time they don't glitch. Occasionally they still do. So that guy goes in first. That triggers a quest. Then we go in afterwards. Uh, we take the architect pass. Trigger back at the door. Uh, now we need to go to White Leaf. A white Leaf Desert. Ali, you're amazing. Stop putting yourself down. Just be chill. Carl, if she wants to be negative, just let her. And you're squabbling between the pair of you. You're both going to your rooms. Uh, right. So we're going to pray to back away to victory. Grab the sword. Click the sound in the process. And let this guy shoot the shit out of us. Yo, dude, I'm right here. You missing me? Hello? Probably. Ah, we're going to have to be really careful, which is fun. So, one thing we can do, come over here. 
You are no longer need the flute. Yep, you're right, have it. We get this lovely little cutscene. We get a guitar, he gets a flute. Everyone's a winner. I just need to be careful I don't game over. <laughs> uh, so we intensely lost health. I just lost a little bit more than I'd have liked. So jump in here. First thing we do. Send Joe the wrong way. Normally I'd run and do that and just bounce off the wall. And then for this bit we just need to time this when he's turning the corner. And if we do it right he kind of just bugs out. So that stops a little bastard moving, and then we can just kind of fairly leisurely run around. I'm avoiding too much wall bonking. So I tend to walk the kind of short straights. And then, ooh, almost there. Get the blue card. And die away to victory. That spawns us back in the boat. Nice and handy. So that's our final inventory item. Getting the guitar. We don't have all 28. Um, because some of them we've used. Like the pirate flags now on our boat. And some of them, like the coffee pot we traded. But we've had all the items. Um, so now we need to go to Proxima Island. And do clean up there. Well, that's me not holding a skate down. Did I get to the wrong place? Yeah. Proxima Island. Thank you. <laughs> I know, Ali. I was just messing around. Clearly, I'm not going to send you guys to your rooms. I don't even know how that would work. Uh, uh, take a life. Take the other life. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Fuck off. I normally run around that guy so he doesn't trigger. I, well, I just forgot, to be honest. Take the car, get back to the stone. Jumpy, jumpy. Uh, free of the stone. Then we use the water. That triggers a little cutscene. Let me suicide away to victory. Yeah, Ali, I spent nearly all my time in my room. Out of the way. On my own. Yeah, same. And that's what happens if you fuck the angle up. So yeah, don't do that. Um, that's why it's important to get a 45 degree angle. Because if you're too straight on, you do what I just did and you pack one instead. But it's fine. Uh, so we just need to trigger jumpy jumpy die away to victory yeah Ali you're right feeling alone is a terrible feeling I could not agree more. So we need to head back to the Hamalay Mountains. And back to Tibet Island. <laughs> I 
To be fair, Aiden always acts as kind of a bad feeling too. No choice is worse. Yeah. Uh, let's take a clover. I'm trying to work out when we next death warp. This is important. Ah, <laughs> uh, we death warp and tibet, okay. So again, make sure we don't drown. Try and avoid getting shot by the soldier. Try and avoid the invisible mine. Yeah, Ali, you're quite right. Uh, I'm just going to back away. Back away. Let's just let this guy walk away. Let this guy walk away. Dude. So, let's just let this guy walk away. Waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle. And he waddled away. Uh, so, anyway, we need to do the Hamilay walk line, which I really suck at. We want to come around here. Uh, and then space and H. And release. And we failed. Let's try that again. So, <laughs> jumpy jump. Third time lucky. I don't totally suck. <laughs> I think this is bad as well. Yeah. God damn it. I used to be good at this. For about a week, I could do this no problem at all. Maybe two weeks. And I stopped doing it for a while. So this is going to work. This is slow. Basically, you kind of jump at an angle and then press H while you're in the air. And then you kind of just press F1 and F2. And right now, I'm holding Enter down. Because if you don't hold Enter, you die. And I'm also holding F2 down. Because it... Don't me. Oh, I, I wouldn't worry. I doubt it. Maybe he's just busy with the kids. So if you hold Enter for long enough, you eventually climb up. Hi Raymond, bye Raymond. Doesn't have to be polite. Uh, run away to victory. So now we need to head to Tibet Island. We may already have Dino Fly, but we need to clear some um, quests that we haven't triggered yet. There are four quests we need to trigger on Tibet Island. One is opening the door to Funky Town. Funky Town! Yeah! <laughs> uh, come around here. Come and talk to the fisherman guy. Hello, my fisherman friend. You don't need to drop down. You can just talk to the guy. And then start running away. Throw your ball. Grab the key. Switch to the sword. And the reason we switch to the sword is when we come through here, there are two grobos. Give us your caches. No. Problem solved. Come here. Give the guy the guitar. Give the guy the guitar. Run around. Chat to this guy. Hiya, buddy. He'll lower the platform for us. Brick laying programs. Oh well, okay. So your husband, Ali. Turn around, back up. And the reason we back up is because we do that. This guy, boop, and we're on his back. This is one of the worst parts of the game. So 
See, one of the worst parts. I thought I was on the stairs then. I wasn't. Apparently, I was on the post. We have one life left. If you die again, Twinson, I'm blaming you. There we go. I mean, it's kind of good in some ways we lost the clover. We didn't want the clover anyway. Oh, Twinson. Twinson and ladders. You gonna climb this time? Thank you, buddy. Uh, so we've got one last quest to trigger out on Tibber Island. Uh, we so 45 to Gango, just a hollow jump. That skips trying to climb a ladder, because ladders and Twinson. Take the key, and we can either do the hard jump again. So I'm just going to do this time. Uh, and that's what happens when it goes wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. Drop down the hole, take the key. Uh, no, Ali, I'm probably not going to eat. I'm being over cautious this time. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Didn't fail it that time. We need to unlock this. That triggers a quest. Now we can... Intentionally death walk. Yeah, but Ali, unlike you, I've eaten today. And that spawns us back at the boat. Now we get to Brindle Island. Hiya, Dino Fly. Nice you to fly over meters. So we need to show this guy the ID card, which is that one. The painter coming out of his house, that triggers a quest. Quest, quests everywhere. As far as the eye can see. Oh, a fun thing to do. Oh, I messed it up. If you fall off there, you can jump off his head and it springs you back up. But anyway. So we need to do quite a few things in here. Uh, one of the things we need to do is kill this guy. Because we need that key. We need that key for the gate. We also need to come over here. And the keypad we got earlier, we need to use that. And then another thing we need to do, grab my ball, my magical ball. Oh, first try. Kill that guy. That triggers another quest. And open the gate. Also a quest. <laughs> then we get this clone. Who I'm just going to drop a mecha penguin for. Because he normally spawns in a bad position. And it saves you waiting for him to die. Grab this key. We need to go through the door. And then we have to wait for it to close.
Guys, we literally can't move. Um. Kill that, kill that, kill that. Come over here. Stand next to the fence. Grab a ball, athletic mode. Throw that. We should have hit. It's a fairly straight line. Yo, thank you. Uh, jumpy jumps. Uh, need to take the clover. I still have full health. No, I don't. So you jump on the rail. Do the Pac Man. Do the Pac Man Twinson. No, Ali, no plans. What about yourself? Next, we are heading to Fortress Island. Yo, Dino buddy, hello. When you've finished licking yourself, he's like a dog. <laughs> that course sounds good. I'm so tempted to order food. I really oughtn't to. I'm going to turn into a pizza if I get any rounder. True story. Uh, this guy comes and talks to us. Good going. The teleport is a little, teleport is a little longer a problem. Hmm. We need to wait for him to change scenes. What's another quest? Oh, and he's gone. This guy's a cunt. And then we start. Yeah. Wait for him to talk. Ah. Uh, I don't have my sword out. So I'm just yammering, uh, hammering F3 and Alt. What did I get that? I get he's holding Alt and pressing F3. Stops you getting stun locked, not backwards. Okay, oh, bless you. I guess it's stumbling. That's interesting that we stumble. Sorry, buddy. This guy. Hiya, buddy. Please die. Twinsen. Aggressive mode. Thank you. Twinsen likes to switch behaviors on you. And he does that because he's a cunt. And I'm sorry if that offends anybody. Sorry, Ali. Jumpy, jumpy. Try this again. See, everyone used to holly jump this door. And now most people pack, um, sword jump it. But I've not done the sword jump, so. As we get stuck in the wall. <laughs> oh, God. Best of trying to avoid those guys. Rather than running straight into it. Uh... Wow, Rob. Hey, man. How are you, buddy? That angle is bad. 
So that's the only part I still jump in the entire game. Uh, it's the holly jumps. It's a bad position, I think. Yeah, to line this up better. Um, so again, this is just a holly jump. So it's just from the reverse side of the door, so it looks a bit weird. This is really weird. We have to kill Zoe, clone. And we also have to trigger the door. Guess it's a quest trigger. Yo, Frank Stars! Hey man, how the fuck have you been? And Rob, yeah, I'm good, man. So what have you been up to? What are you busy doing? New job old shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Well, not the new job part, but certainly the old shit. Oh, at the end of the run. So what's your new job, Frenchie? Uh, we are doing badly on lives. So let's just take some clover. It's clover time, boys! Yeah! Uh, yeah, we've got the sword out. Sword this guy to death. One week into your internship, your boss went on a three-week vacation. Wow. So we came here and we do a Pac-Man. Ah. It's just space and jump if I didn't mess it up. Like that. Uh, why are you... Was I in the wall? Oh. Okay. Am I... We'll just come out of the wall, I think. I was trying to be clever and jump onto it, but you know. <laughs> so, your boss has gone on the he's left you alone for three weeks, and you've got no access rights on the computer, so you can't do anything. Sounds bloody normal, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said I got a cuddly toy. I want a cuddly toy. Hey, little guy. Take the ignition key and bring the bulldozer back for me. I appreciate it. I don't have time to do it myself. Mate. One, it's not a bulldozer. Just putting it out of there. It's a digger. And two, you're literally like 30 seconds away from it. And you don't fuck all. But I'll take the digger. Uh, right, let me just read chat while we get this lovely little auto scroller. Um, Ali wins a cuddly toy. Oh, Ali got the cuddly toy. Oh, okay. I wanted the cuddly toy. God damn it. Why are you giving it to Ali? It's fine. I'll share. Oh, you share the cuddly toy. So what's your project you're working on, Rob? Is this for work or? Yeah. What's the day job, Rob? Character animation, oh, that's cool. You're rendering now is just in downtime. Fair enough. Well, right, Rob, you know you're always welcome here. You've got a special place in all of our hearts. Especially mine. True story. 
All right, monkey boy. How's the movie going, Rob? You getting much time to work on it? So one thing we do in 100%, we come out to this corner. So we do a hollow jump, 45 degree angle. That pops us up here. Run along. Pretty sure we jump from here. It's been a while. So we still do a hollow jump to Pac-Man. I, well, that looks weird. Uh, grab the ball. Why? Am I in the wrong place? Think I'm okay? Should be okay. He's dead, but I'm fine. Awesome. Drop down. So, just got this guy to kill. Come around here. Getting this route made. He just shoots over us. So. Fuck! Fucking bollocks. I kind of saved it and then bogged and ended up in the water. Anyway, so just to demonstrate again how we do this. <laughs> so, about a 45 degree angle. Uh, run along to here. Oh, this is flawless. Um, I was going to dump the whole thing on YouTube as well. I might actually have to clip it up. <laughs> Take out all the fuck ups. If I hadn't been running with the time, I no one would have known. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so we come around here, discreet mode. Throw the wally balls. Balls in the face. Balls in the face. Balls in the face. Welcome back, monkey boy. All right, so this end room takes a little bit of practice. So it's just really finding a setup for this guy. And I always start climbing when he fires his third shot, but I think his angle is bad. So when we get up here, we won't need to hit alt pretty much straight away. That makes Fenfuck eat himself off. You took your time. You might be surprised when you discover the house. Yeah, Tony Shins is going to be surprised when she discovers the house. Because there is no fucking house. He got blown up. <laughs> Stand here. Wait for Zoe to drop. And follow Zoe down. Come on, Zoe, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Come on, Zoe, let's go party. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Zoe just wants to kiss us. We just want Zoe to fuck off. Trigger fun fuck. Kill fun fuck. I don't know, do you think it'd be a fun fuck? Fun frock. Kill fun frock. Yeah, that's his name. And then send it away to victory. That time is terrible. <laughs> 